What's up, YouTube? This is Star Wolf. Now, I want to ask a question. How many people feel that the young female that did the interview the other day, you know, she did an interview about being a prostitute and being abused. How many feel that that story was fake, that she, that she scammed, she was scamming? Because right now, there's a lot of people online and especially from this uh, social media site that I had went to and I was looking, a lot of people feel that she lied to them. A lot of people feel that in that interview, she lied, she made up the story and she did it to get money, her and her alleged pimp. Now, if you're not familiar with the story or what I'm talking about, I will leave a description in the link so you can check out the interview. But uh, what it is, there's a 21 year old, she from LA, and uh, allegedly she been, uh, she been on the street. She been prostituting since she was like eight years old. And when she turned 11 years old, she was saying that, you know, she, she, never, she never went to high school, never went to middle school, you know, she never made it out to sixth grade due to prostitution. Now, when she was, and when she was like eight years old, nine years old, she was, you know, brutally raped, molested all, all the time by her uh, foster parents, mainly the foster dads. And one occasion, one incident where she was explaining in an interview, she was abused so bad because the foster dad would make her shave her vagina. And he shaved it so much that it made her bleed. So she was, she would, you know, she was laying in a puddle of blood from him doing that and from him, uh, you know, brutally raping her, her being young, he entered her, you know, he entered into her, his penis was too big. So that was one of the incidents. And she went on further to explain how, you know, when she became a little bit older in the game, you know, she was doing, she started doing cocaine when she was young, doing all sorts of drugs. She was, uh, she attempted suicide many times. She tried meth. You know, she'd been, she been incarcerated for meth because she was found wandering around high and naked in the streets. You know, now she allegedly lives, she, she living on Skid Row in a tent. She don't have no food to eat. You know, her life just in shambles. And the thing here is people, 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 people listen to the interview. It was so many people that seen the interview and they poured out, they, you know, they, they poured out their love to this, uh, to the, she's, she's now an adult, she's 21, but they poured out their love to her. You know, they started, a GoFundMe was started for her, and you know, she accumulated over 30 some thousand dollars, and maybe more now. And people feel like, okay, I donated, you know, I, some people was talking about how they donated they last. Some people was talking about how they donated three, four, five hundred dollars because they wanted to they wanted to help her. They wanted to see her make it. And a lot of them is feeling like they've been scammed now because people have come forward. People that's her age uh, stating that she made up the story because they actually went to high school with her. And they like, you know, she told in the interview how. She dropped out of school when she was in, you know, when she was 11 years old. So she didn't even get to make it to high school or middle school. So they was like, no, that's a lie. We went to high school together. She had a good life. And, you know, I have some pictures here. And I have uh, I had these pictures and I had these uh, comments that was made by a few people that claim they know her. So they saying that the whole story was a lie. It was a scam for her to just get some money, her and her alleged pimp. So I don't know if the story is true. I don't know if the story is fake. I can't say, cause I don't know her and I don't know, you know. One thing I can say is this, if it is fake, then she gonna have to take that up. She gonna have to take that up with the creator. You know, whatever you put in the universe, you gonna have to pay the universe back. So 
you know what goes around comes around. You know you gonna you know she got to she got to foot that bill. Ain't nothing for free. You know you can't just sit there and make something up, try to scam people and think that people wouldn't figure it out or whatever. Now I'm saying this if it's if it if it was fake, but there is people saying that they know her. They went to high school with her. They know her peoples, they know her grandma, they said she lived with her grandma. The only thing that happened was she wasn't prostituted, she wasn't doing drugs at a young age and nothing. All she was doing was running away because she just wanted to be, uh, she wanted to be bad and be in the street. She wanted to be rebellious like a lot of teenagers, a lot of young kids was and, and is to this day. So I don't know, you know, but one thing I can say, if this is true, because the stories sound believable. It sounds super believable. And it's not uncommon. It's not uncommon for someone to be prostituting at a young age. It's not uncommon for someone to be abused and raped in foster care. It's not uncommon for someone to start doing drugs at a young age because they was abused and they prostituting so they can uh, forget reality. It's not because it happens every day. It's not uncommon for them to have a pimp and the pimp beat them up, pimp treat them bad, pimp choke them out. Everything she said, it's, that's not uncommon. It's not out of the ordinary. She even stated in one incident where she was uh, transported to Mexico or something to that nature. She, had, she was locked in the trunk the whole time because her pimp didn't want to be pulled over by the highway patrol and him risking the chance of getting arrested because she looked this so young. You know, she doesn't even look her age. She don't look 21. So, you know, I, I didn't, you know, I didn't really see the logic in that because it's like you black, you get pulled over on the highway. They don't care. Shit, they'll go in the trunk anyway. They might think some drugs is in there or anything. They gonna legally search anyhow. So if he would have got pulled over and they searched the trunk, boom. Here she is in the trunk. They would have found her anyway. But she says she was locked in the trunk, transported to Mexico or whatever, so she can do what she had to do when she was out there, you know, while she was prostituting. You know, anybody that go through that type of abuse, you know, that's mental abuse. Outside of physical abuse. So you would want to do some drugs. And she was claiming now she'd been homeless on the streets, being abused by everybody. She don't have no family. No one loves her or nothing. But yet and still, like I said, I don't know. I don't know if it's true or false because there's people claiming that they know her and said her story is false. And everybody is like everybody that donated, that poured out their love and their heart and went to their bank accounts is feeling like they got scammed. So I don't know, you know, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's true. Maybe it's not true. All I can say, if, it, if it's not true, man, that's 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 a trip, you know, people. But people people scam every day. My thing is this. Our people, you know, our people always, you know, and, and, and I'm not speaking on different races, so I don't want nobody to be like, well, it's other races that do stuff and this and that. I'm not speaking about the other races. I know this. I'm aware of this. I don't care about that. I'm speaking about this child. She 21, so I'm going to call her a child. I'm speaking about her and about our race right now. This is why people don't want to deal with us. Because if something, if this is fake, it's like, okay, when someone else comes out and want to tell their story, and something really happened to them, then people gonna look at it and be like, nah, I'm cool. Nah, I can't, I can't help. I want to, but I can't help. And it's because they've been duped. They've been scammed. So it's like, it's like, hell no. They don't wanna help. When the person that really needs help need to help, nobody wants to help them. Then when it's somebody that don't really need to help and they scamming, people will help. You see what I'm saying? So my thing is this. If you really went through something 
and you looking for the help and you get it, that's a blessing. If you haven't went through nothing like that, you shouldn't you shouldn't be scamming people because you're going to go through some shit that's far worse than what you made up. And you're going to wish like hell. You're going to wish like hell you had somebody to help you. And it ain't going to be nobody there to pick you up when you fall. And you're going to fall hard than a motherfucker. Believe that. But what I can say is I don't know if it's fake or not. And this, like I said, the story sound believable. It sound real believable. If she faking, she a good con. She a good con artist. She got a hell of a mouthpiece. I tell you that. And they did. The dude that's in the pictures with her, people were saying that's her pimp, but I don't know. I don't know him. They don't know him. If somebody know him, you know, they might know him for being a pimp. I don't. I don't know, you know. I know his uh, page, his IG page got reported so much that they took it down and he started a new one. And on her Instagram page, she did have it where you could comment. Now you can't even comment. So my thing is this, too. On her Instagram page, she has pages. She has pics up of her, like, you know, they just not pics you would have up if you don't want to remember that type of lifestyle. If you looking for help, you see what I'm saying? If 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 you grew up gang banging, you in pictures with the homies, you in pictures, everything is associated with gang banging and you grew up gang banging and now you get to a point in your life where you want to stop and you do stop and you hate that lifestyle, you're not gonna have, you're not gonna associate yourself with that. You're not gonna have pictures all over your, 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 your Instagram and anywhere else where you glamorizing that, glorifying that. And that's all I'm saying. She got pics up where she's actually glorifying like, you know, prostituting, prostitution. So I don't know. But look, y'all let me y'all let me know in the comments below. Y'all let me know in the comments section how y'all feel, if you feel it's a scam or not. If you've seen the interview, like I said, I'll put the link to the I'll put the link in the description and you can go check it out for yourself. Uh, update was actually done on her, but uh, you know, let me know how y'all feel about this situation, you know, because me, I don't know. Like I said, it sounds believable to me, so I don't know, you know. If you're new to my page, make sure you subscribe. If you're new to my channel, I mean, excuse me. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button as well and that notification bell so you can get my videos when they drop. Make sure you share my videos on all social media platforms. Peace out.